Item Number SCP-1063 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1063 is to be kept in a 20m by 20m by 6m habitat, simulating a temperate, deciduous, coniferous forest environment, bordered by 60cm thick, unpolished granite walls covered with live moss. SCP-1063 is highly reluctant to damage objects which are supporting live plants. All personnel who enter SCP-1063's containment for any purpose are to carry live potted plants in plain view. Guards are to carry flamethrowers as well as potted plants. It is forbidden to speak English within 30 meters of SCP-1063's containment. As SCP-1063 becomes hostile towards individuals whom it has heard speaking English. Vegetation and microfauna in SCP-1063's habitat are to be maintained according to Schedule 1063-N6. Climate in SCP-1063's habitat is to be maintained according to Schedule 1063-CX5. After each simulated rainfall, SCP-1063 is to be provided with a plain towel, made of 100% natural unbleached undyed fibers, so that it may dry its non-water-resistant components. Description. SCP-1063 is a humanoid automaton which appears to be constructed entirely out of wood, with highly articulated joints made of wooden ball bearings of various sizes. It is 2 meters tall, 103 kilograms, and resembles a bearded Caucasian man in mid-19th century formal wear. Its lower left arm does not terminate in a hand, but instead flattens and broadens to form an axe blade almost 70 centimeters across. Although this blade is made of wood, it is razor-sharp, and is almost metallic in its mechanical properties. When enraged, SCP-1063 is able to sever human heads or limbs in a single blow, and to chop through over 30 centimeters of granite, with no damage to the blade. SCP-1063's clothes are carved out of wood, and are of a piece with its body, with the exception of several cosmetic accessories, all made of severely oxidized copper. Six shirt buttons, a warped and dented hatband encircling its head, a broken monocle rim surrounding its right eye, cufflinks on its right sleeve, a belt buckle, and a watch chain dangling from its left coat pocket, but no watch, and a tattered and faded swastika armband on its upper right arm. Its power source is unknown, as are the methods by which it is able to see, hear, and think. Radiographic ultrasonic and imaging all indicate that it is solid wood, with the exception of the aforementioned cosmetic accessories. SCP-1063 is not able to speak, but can write in several dialects of German, as well as in French. Psychological examinations have revealed a generally affable personality, characterized by mood swings and an overall low intelligence. Note, Researchers wishing to interview SCP-1063 should familiarize themselves with the fractured mode of calligraphy. SCP-1063 refers to itself as Freiherr von Schwarzwald, or Lord of the Black Forest, and has described itself as a genuine aristocrat, ennobled by the king himself, translated from German. SCP-1063 has not been able to provide more specific information as to which king this was but has expressed scorn at the suggestion that it was Wilhelm I of Prussia, who later became the Kaiser or Emperor, describing him as an upstart and latecomer. These attitudes, and other statements made by SCP-1063, indicate that it was created no later than the mid-19th century, which is in accordance with its style of clothing. SCP-1063 has stated that it has two purposes in existence. The first purpose, which it claims to have had since, quote, the day of my first waking, unquote, is to protect the trees and other plant life of the Black Forest region of Germany at any cost. The second purpose, which it claims to have been taught by, quote, those nice soldiers who gave me the swastika armband, unquote, is to protect Germany from English-speaking invaders. SCP-1063 first came to the Foundation attention as a result of a statistically anomalous number of missing person reports from the village of Germany in 19. Foundation personnel surveyed the region while disguised as a search party, and were attacked by SCP-1063 
when they began to prepare a campfire. Subject was quickly subdued and captured with no casualties. After capturing SCP-1063, personnel coerced it into showing them the bodies of the people it had killed for either quote, harmful disrespect of nature unquote, or speaking English. The bodies were then further mutilated to support a cover story of accidental discovery of leftover explosives from the Second World War. Thank you.